This video is a City of San Francisco real estate market update. Let's dive right in. Hey there, my name is Joe Poliak, local San Francisco Bay Area real estate agent, and I make videos like this for people like you who might be thinking about buying or selling real estate here in the San Francisco Bay Area or really anywhere else in the country. I hope this video helps and I hope you find it valuable. Please help support my channel so that I can continue to make more videos like this and reach more people who are interested in this kind of information. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button and like the video and and of course, feel free to comment, message me directly, call me, text me. My contact info can be found all over the place. If you have any questions or you ever want to talk about San Francisco Bay Area real estate, love to talk about it. Let's take a look at the San Francisco Association of Realtors market report for June 2022. They do a really good job of laying things out for us so we can just jump right in and take a look at this. June 2022, rising inflation, soaring home prices, and increased mortgage interest rates have combined to cause a slowdown in the U.S. housing market. To help quell inflation, which reached 8.6% as of last measure in May. By the way, I think the numbers just came out for June and it is uh, over 9% now. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates by three quarters of a percentage point in June. Sounds like they're going to do the same thing in July. The largest interest rate hike since 1994. Higher prices coupled with 30-year fixed mortgage rates approaching 6% have exacerbated affordability challenges and rapidly cooled demand with home sales and mortgage applications falling sharply from a year ago. So they said 30 year fixed uh, mortgage rates approaching 6%. By the way, just so you know, we have a network of lenders that right now jumbo 30 year fixed mortgage rates, we can still get below 5%. I've even heard of some people depending on the relationship pricing and where you work. If you work at Google, Apple, Facebook, those kind of companies, you might even be able to get closer to the 4% mark. So feel free to reach out to me if you're thinking about buying a house, but you think the mortgage rates are too high. Different lenders offer different things. I I recommend shopping around and seeing who offers what. Well, first paragraph talks about the U.S. market in general, whereas the next paragraph goes into specifically San Francisco. New listings were down 36.7% for single family homes and 39.8% for condo TAC co-op properties. Pending sales decreased 28.4% for single family homes, 35.6% for condo TAC properties. That's year over year stats, not month over month, not from May to June, but year over year from June 2021 to June 2022. The median sales price was down 2.6% to 1890000 for single family homes, but remained flat at 1250 for condo TIC co-op properties. Month supply and inventory decreased 25% for single family units and 14.3% for condo TIC co-op units. With monthly mortgage payments up more than 50%, compared to this time last year, the rising cost of home ownership have sidelined many prospective buyers. See, this is again now going into national numbers. Nationally, the median sales price of existing homes recently exceeded 400,000 for the first time ever, a 15% increase from the same period a year ago, according to the National Association of Realtors. As existing home sales continue to soften nationwide, housing supply is slowly improving with inventory up for the second straight month. In time, price growth is expected to moderate as supply grows. For now, however, inventory remains low and buyers are feeling the squeeze of higher prices all around. Last two years, post-pandemic, interest rates, record lows. Okay, you can get a 30-year fixed mortgage rate for 3% or below. I personally got a jumbo 30-year fixed mortgage rate for 2.75% interest rate, which is unbelievable. Right now, as I mentioned, you can still get the same thing between 4 and 5%. It still exists. It's still out there. You can still do it. National average, though, is above 5%, approaching 6%. With that being said, prices are extremely high still. Inventory, supply of homes, as we learned about the supply demand fundamentals in basic Econ 101 economic classes. As supply increases, demand decreases, prices go down, all else being equal. Right now, slowly, we're starting to see that supply, inventory, number of homes available for sale is slowly starting to increase. More people are putting their homes up for sale. Demand, which is dictated, demand, the amount of people, the number of people who are looking to buy a home and what they're willing to pay and how aggressive they're willing to be is starting to get depressed. The Federal Reserve is doing that actively 
to help slow down the very high levels of inflation that we're seeing right now. This is still something that's happening and we're in the early stages of this. And it seems like this might be causing a slowdown in the real estate market. I say seems like, I say I think, I say, you know, let's see what happens. Is because I don't know, I can't predict anything. It seems like these are the things that are happening based on previous history, but there are black swan events. There are things that happen that we can't predict that we don't know what's gonna happen. And I think once you read books like Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. You read Nicholas Nassim Taleb's books, Black Swan and Fooled by Randomness and Anti-Fragile and those types of books. You realize that really nobody knows anything and nobody can predict anything. No single brain is that smart. The best we can do is accept the fact that we really don't know and to take our ego out of things and not try to predict too many things, but just do our best with the information that we have, but be open to that we might be 100% wrong and have a backup contingency plan for that. That's just my little advice to people. With that being said, let's jump into the real estate data. So as mentioned above, new listings from 2021 to 2022, June, month of June, down quite a bit. Pending sales down quite a bit. Also year to date, uh, both of those are down quite a bit. Sold listings, again, also down quite a bit, 25.8%, 10% for year to date. Prices that they mentioned down a little bit year over year for single family homes. This is the median and then the average down a little bit as well. This is all single family home data. However, year to date, prices are up and and uh, for median and average as well. Days on market is still down. 16 days is the average days on market that it takes a single family home to sell in San Francisco or took in June 20. 20- 22. Active listings down 35%. Now, keep in mind that June 2021 was an extraordinary year of a lot of active listings for sale because a lot of people did not put their homes up for sale between the months of March to maybe even September, October of 2020 because there was a worldwide pandemic going on. A lot of people did not put their homes on the market. So that created this bottleneck where a lot of people then started putting their homes on the market at that time. And 2021 was a record year of prices and and people putting their homes up for sale and all those things. Percentage of list price received, still very hot. Homes are still selling for well above asking price, but that's more of an indication of people in general list their homes for sale very low in San Francisco, aiming for multiple offers and bidding wars and all that good stuff. A month supply is down quite a bit to 1.8. So supply is still low, but again, that is starting to inch up. And I think this is just the beginning of the story and we are gonna see supply increase drastically if the Fed continues doing what they have been saying they're going to do. Condos, new listings down quite a bit. Pending sales down quite a bit. Sold listings down quite a bit year over year. Prices essentially unchanged. Days on market up a little bit. 36 days on average for a condominium to sell in San Francisco. Active listings down quite a bit. 1169 from 1487. Again, same thing. Active listings skyrocketed after the pandemic months. And homes on average sold 5% over asking price in San Francisco for condos. Month supply down. So supply is down. There you have it. I would say right now we are seeing, people always say a weird market in San Francisco real estate. Overall, what am I hearing in the streets that is not reflected in this data at all yet is that a lot of agents are having to do price reductions. Homes are sitting on the market a lot longer. They're not getting the multiple offers they would have received six months ago, three to six months ago. The sellers are not getting the expectations that they were accustomed to. They're not getting their expected sales prices that they were accustomed to or what they thought they would be getting. And I I think the picture is going to be painted much more clearly in the coming months when you see what has happened in July 2022 versus 2021 and previous years and also compare July 2022 compared to the other months before. So we shall see how the story plays out. My feeling is that we are seeing right now a significant slowdown in the market. So if you are a buyer and have been on the sidelines right now could be your chance to get into something. If you are fiscally responsible, if you have a lot of money saved up, ready for down payment, and you make good money and you're able to afford a mortgage, right now might be the time to get a home for a fairly decent discount compared to what you would have paid three to six months ago. So if you were discouraged by the market and you thought it was a little bit too crazy, right now could be a good time to get in. Can prices drop even more? Can the market slow down even more? Of course it can. I can't predict that. But you have to not just weigh the financial benefits of waiting of what you're doing, but also think about the costs and benefits of your having 
happiness and your family's happiness about having a home, having a place that you can call home, that you can paint your colors, that you can put your wallpaper, that you can put your barbecue grills, that you can remodel the way that you like, that you can have your family over. Think about both of those things when you're thinking about buying your personal residence. If you're buying investment properties, purely financial, purely by the numbers, your own home, think about the other things involved in that. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm Joe Poliak, local San Francisco Bay Area real estate agent, helping you with all your real estate related needs. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Click the little bell notification next to the subscribe button. Like this video. Help me reach more people like you who might be thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate or just want information about the local market and what it's like to live in the San Francisco Bay Area. We make videos all the time, local business spotlights, where we spotlight local cool businesses and what they're doing mostly food but also a bunch of other stuff neighborhood profile videos where we talk about what it's like living in different neighborhoods we spend a lot of time to allow you to maybe not have to drive around all these neighborhoods yourself go to all these businesses yourself but allow you to take the time to be able to be like oh wow this is all cool information that I can just sit from the comfort of my home learn about neighborhoods learn about different businesses learn about the local real estate market and then when you're ready you can just hit us up and we can help you buy sell and invest in real estate thanks so much for watching this video Thank you.